you're watching Jimmerism. This is your host Eric, and today I'm going to show you how to cut out, trim, or part up a really long video segment or a short one without the need to re encode or re export it. Jimmerism. This is uh, Lossless Cuts GitHub webpage, and this is the tool we're going to use. If you have Mac, if you have Windows, if you have Linux, you have your downloads here. Uh, so we have a little 7-zip here for Windows. Download that and save it. Link is in the description. Uh, what you basically do is you click Extract All. And there we have it. You want to take this folder, you want to cut it, and you browse to this PC Windows program files. You can just paste it in your program files. So, in the D folder you now moved, you can move it anywhere, it doesn't have to be in program files. Then you see the exe file here, just right click it, select more options, and whatever you prefer, you can send to desktop to create a shortcut, or you can pin to start, if you want it in start menu, just pin it there. Anyways, uh, run that exe file, if it says like this, click more info, run anyway. I wanted to make a 12 hour video, which is YouTube's max size, right? This thing... In my video editing software isn't 12 hours, it's below that. But for some reason when exporting it, it became larger. And then I'll need to re-export it. And that takes a long time. So what I do, I take this 12 hours and 36 seconds, 37 seconds, isn't that so annoying. I'll just drop it in the lossless cut. And this now works like a video player. Uh, and what we basically want to do here, we can see we have a segment already. You can see a little one there in the corner. This is basically a segment right now. Uh, so we'll need to find some uh, parts that we can that we can cut out. So to end the segment here, you can see we have a little, little hand icon here. We'll just click that and we'll end the segment. We'll just see where we're going to start again, which is exactly here. So then I'll click the little hand icon on this side that will start a new segment. And as this is a 12 hour video, it can be a little bit hard to see, but you can zoom in like this. Here you can see. Uh, and here you see these little lines. These are keyframes. They're going to cut at the closest keyframe. Uh, there is some experimental feature that allows you to have more exact cuts, but generally that might mess up the file entirely. And that's like the magic of this software. We can use the keyframes instead of whatever frame. And using those keyframes, we can just remove a couple of sections of keyframes in between and merge the two files together and export it as one. That's like the magic. So while it might not be super exact, it is pretty, pretty good. You can see a keyframe lasts like a few seconds. So if you want to be really exact, um, you can try the experimental feature. But this will be pretty accurate anyways. And you might wonder what is a keyframe? Well, the keyframe is basically like this. The keyframe is like a JPEG, it's like a normal image. And then the frames in between, they're only showing what's changing. They're not showing the entire process. And that's what makes a video not take that much space. So uh, if we zoom in like this, uh, you do this by holding the control button and scrolling. And then you can zoom in the different views here. It's pretty handy. If you just scroll and not holding the control, you will just browse over the video. So anyways, I found a new edit here. So then I click uh, the end of the segment here, right? Actually there, no, there. And then I can start a new segment as soon as we spawn. And like there, there we can start a new segment. So now you can see one, two, three. Here, here we're dying again. So then I can thus, of course, end this segment, right? And then we'll need to play on for a little bit. And around here, running up to suburb, I think should be interesting. So we should start the segment again. And we can see segment totals is 11 hours, 59 minutes and 48 seconds. That's awesome. So now we have some settings we need to take into account. On the top of the window, if you click this working dir set, you can here select where we will export the file. So we're just gonna select this output folder. Here we have the container. This should detect automatically and you should leave it as it is, otherwise you might mess up things up. One, two, three, four, numbered and all. 
Uh, they can be separate files instead if you want to clip, like having exporting different clips. Uh, but if you want to merge the cut like I want to do, just remove a tiny little piece so that we can get under 12 hours, then it's merge. If you want both, you can select that to make sure we have enough hard drive space, right? Now here in the bottom corner here, we can see export. Click the export button. Here we have some different options. So merge cut here, of course. Container should be kept on whatever it is. And if it didn't find it automatically, select the file type you already have, right? Keep two tracks, you can select uh, if you have uh, several audio tracks and stuff like that, but then you're pretty advanced, so you should probably not touch that. Overrate existing file. Well, you can do that if you have an existing file there. I don't, it doesn't matter for me here. Then we have create chapters and preserve original metadata. This makes it slower, so keep this unshaked. If you have a really long video like me, you of course want it to be fast, so don't activate the slow things. Here we have the smart cut, which is experimental. Uh, it may make the cuts super accurate, exactly where you wanted them, uh, but it might also mess up the file. So uh, try that on your own experiment. You can click the question marks here if you want to have some more info. Here we have keyframe cut mode. Uh, that should be turned on, of course, for this, so it will be fast and neat. Uh, otherwise, you'll have to manual. You can, you can read here. If you don't want to have a keyframe cut mode, if you want to have a normal cut, you need to set the cut point a few frames before the next keyframe to achieve a precise cut. Uh, this is enabled by default, enable move fast start, uh, but if you have this on, you can see it might slow down the processing. So for really long videos like this one, um, it's probably best to have it turned off. Now preserve the metadata, you can have that on or off if you want to have it, but apparently it causes some issues with some players, so let's just remove that. So avoid negative TS is set to make zero on default. I don't know exactly what this means, but it says when merging, rec it's recommended to have it on make non-negative. Because that's the recommendation, I did that every time and it works fine when merging. That's all the settings we need to care and explain about. So now we just need to click this export button. You can see exporting, this is 12 hours, it's already up to 20%, that's super fast. So exporting, it's almost done with one, two, three, four. You can see these are independent right now. There are segments, of course, because we didn't select uh, keep both. So when it's exporting, it will start merging. So here we have the four segments and they are now merging into the cut merged, the merged version. So we'll just need to let it sit here and merge the clips. If you want to watch this gameplay, by the way, it's going up on my Gmodist channel where I have some compilations and votes and stuff like that. So you should probably tune into Gmodist if you want to, if you want to see some retro Battlefield 2 gameplay for some unknown reason. Maybe you were a fan of the game too. Anyways, if you think this tool is pretty great and that it's free and open source, you might consider to donate. You can see they have donate options here so that you can support Mikael Finstad who uh, put this together for everyone to use for free. Anyways, back to the merging. You can see the merging is now the merged version Battlefield 2 12 hour strike at Karakan gameplay cut merged. It's 11 hours, 59 minutes and 51 seconds. Funnily enough, it's not exactly how long it said it should be if you if you look here on in the video software it's 11 hours 59 minutes and 48 seconds and why that is i do not know i'll need to research that anyways if we click properties here we can go to detail and we can see it's 1080p and 60 frames per second 48 kilohertz so it kept everything as normal of course it didn't re-encode it so it should be exactly as normal and if we check the file here, you can browse around and it looks pretty fine to me. Here it looks when I played with the touchpad, that was insane. Yeah, strike it Karkan, 12 hours, go watch that. So of course, if you want to check exactly, uh, you can check where, 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 where you have the like first cuts. One hour, 22, one hour, 22. Yeah, so oh, around here, yeah, there we can see, there we have the first cut. That looks fine to me. You can check all the cuts and make sure everything is fine before you delete the, uh, the source material, of course. 
What we can do now, if everything is fine, just close down the program. Here we have the project file. You can delete that, you don't need that. I already moved and installed lossless cut so I can ignore this. And this can now be uploaded to YouTube. Now, if that was helpful, please leave a like and do stay tuned for our Tech Tuesdays. We have a tech tutorial every Tuesday. You can get some extra help in our Discord tech support channel. And of course, check out my other videos here on uh, my main channel. And we also have some entertainment and some sleep videos on the other channel. So check that out. If you want to help me, you can of course join the channel. That helps a lot. This is your host, Eric of Jumadism, signing out.